Older people of Reddit, what is 100 pure bullshit? Do what you love and you will never work a day in your life. Bullshit. It's only the rare person who loves work and doesn't view it as work. Everything you do for work is going to have tedious bullshit. Do a job you can tolerate and do what you love after work. My sister-in-law was convinced she could be an artist and paint for a living. She isn't that good and at 45 still lives with her parents because she's convinced she's going to be a famous artist. So she delivers pizza and mooches off her family. There is no perfect roadmap for adulthood. For got married. Got divorced. Didn't get jobs until they were 30. Changed careers. Went bankrupt. Or any number of other things that are supposedly life-ending and that they are doing fine years later. They can suck at the time. Don't get me wrong. But so many of those things are exponentially worse because people think there is no coming back from them. And that's just not true. Having money doesn't make you rich. Money doesn't solve everything are absolutely incorrect. Having enough money to make you rich is actually the only kind of rich. Throw enough money around and most problems will go away. Even if I can't solve a problem with it. I'd rather be sad and rich than sad and poor. The concept of justice is just to make victims feel better. There is no justice. Most people will never suffer consequences and the bad people will always come out on top. That what you read on your phone represents reality. If you believe what you read online and are on sensationalist 24-hour news channels, there's a boogeyman around every corner looking to corrupt kill steal from you and yours. Americans are at each other's throats. Look at this video of people having an argument. If it happened one time in one place, it must be happening everywhere all the time. Turn the screens off and go outside. It's not how they say it is. I'm not old. Kinda older. Mid-thirties. You younger group of teens and early twenties adults are complete narcissists. The number of tripods I see set up at the gym is ridiculous. Number of young kids taking photos at museums I saw a girl taking a selfie at a museum of tolerance. Caught my blood boiling. You are not that important. Nobody cares about you. Social media got you all fucked up big time. It's bullshit that you guys have the nerve to think otherwise. Worrying about your body's appearance. Strive for a healthy body that works well and does what you need it to do. Do not worry, in the least, about your height, how thick or thin you are, the size of your breasts or any number of things like that. Whatever your body is, there are millions of people who are into your type of body. Comparing yourself to media saturated, air generated, Photoshop retouch models is BS. More of something I've noticed about getting older in general. You will cringe at everything that was important to you in your 20s and 30s. You won't even believe you cared about so much of that shit. You'll be embarrassed by how right you thought you were about everything. You'll come to realize how nuanced everything really is. It's humbling and amazing getting older I'd never go back and do it again. Needing to conform and be just like everyone else. I see young people all liking the exact same things. Even going so far as answering simple surveys the same like. What's your favorite? They all answer alike. Be unique. Be different. So what if you don't have a certain phone? Makeup device, clothing item, etc. So what if you have a weird hobby? As long as no one's getting hurt, be weird. Sports games with ads being trapped behind paywalls, including cable TV. It used to free, it came over the air, and you just needed an antenna and you could watch the games. The trade-off was that every surface was covered in ads, and they stopped the games to show ads. Now, there are more ads than ever before, but you have to pay for some premium cable subscription just to see a baseball game. Shame. We are a very shame-based culture both religion and advertising lean in heavily on messages that you are not worthy of taking up space, being happy, or even existing as you are. Deciding you are going to free yourself from their shame is just about the most revolutionary thing you can do. But it's essential if you don't want to slowly go mad in your 50s and 60s from the weight of it. Makeup. I'm not talking about a little mascara or lipstick. 
I'm talking about the kind of makeup that takes you 30 minutes to apply. It's inauthentic. When someone presents as heavily made up, I just think about all their insecurities. I feel sorry for them that they think they need all that. What must their life be like that they think they can't be accepted without heavily caked on makeup? The idea that the reason the adult children of boomers can't afford rent or food is a personal failure on their part. The world has changed dramatically in the US and food and rent are beyond so many families' as budgets. I can't believe the prices of years old used cars for example. I honestly don't know how ordinary people are going to afford a roof over their heads and food in the future. People are seldom thinking about you because their own lives take up all of their focus and they are the center of their own world. Crucially, this means they're never thinking about that silly mistake you made or an embarrassing faux pas at work. Nobody is spending their day thinking about you unless it's apparent thinking of you or be the person wants to get into your underwear. Almost no one on this planet wants you to fail at life regardless of what you look like or where you're from or who you love. Always seek out information that goes counter your point of view, and slander others because they have a difference of opinion. Also, learn to separate problem definition from problem solution. Most everyone wants the same basic things in. Not 100 bullshit, but don't trust those generational cohorts too much. Those labels tend to make a hasty generalization based just on socioeconomic levels. Maybe I'm fed up with being called boomer or any other label it's commonly used. I just want to be treated for what I am, not for a sociological term. No, I'm not a boomer just for giving my opinion. Time heals all wounds. Certain things will hurt until the day you die as not a bad thing. Pain is a part of life, and sometimes you need that reminder to not repeat past mistakes or to let certain people in. Emotional hurt sucks, it really does, but there's a balance between you have to find for yourself between remembering and obsessing. Anyone who tells you your music isn't real music is actually trying to tell you they stopped listening to anything new about the time they graduated high school. It's okay to ignore these people. That's what the people they went to high school with did. And it's why their taste has stagnated. They don't have anyone to tell them what's good anymore. Home ownership is the American dream. For some, maybe. However, home ownership also means tons of repairs, weekends spent on maintenance and other projects and also restricts your ability to up and move if you so desire. You can still be successful and be a renter. Home ownership is like the decision to have children it isn't for everyone. New flashy cars and trucks and the huge or super long payment terms. I'm so over that junk. Try to find an older model car with good reputation, in good shape, and lower miles, and pay cash if you can. Then keep up on maintenance and drive that sucker into the ground. Even a total engine replacement is still better than payments. Your insecurities are 100 in your head. That weird thing you did that is so embarrassing, and everyone else is thinking about actually went completely unnoticed because everybody else was thinking about the weird thing they did. The realization that everybody else is as self-conscious as I am made me much less self-conscious. Governments pitting generations or categories of workers against each other. It's a smoke screen. The politicians are sucking the system dry in expenses for second homes. The rich avoid taxes and get the best lawyers. They get away with it all because we are too busy holding a grudge against each other. I sort of hate myself for saying this, but something that's 100 pure bullshit is that we always have to be the bigger person. I have finally decided in my older age and the serial people pleaser that sometimes you can just give back the same energy that you get and let the chips fall where they may. That your politicians care about you edit even the ones that say they care about an issue. Over time you see they never make the steps to fix it. They just talk about it. Even when they have complete power to do so. What keeps people voting for them is talking about the issues, not fixing them. You shouldn't live in misery attempting to pay off your debt. If you take the time, keep track of your bill due dates, 
credit card cycles and work directly with debtors to adjust payment days. You can more than work your debt off and not feel like you need to sit in an apartment and watch paint dry. Celebrities, the influencers, it's all smoke and mirrors. They are not better than you. Most of them are massively worse than you. They just had a lot of luck and probably someone bank rolling there so they could suck up some of the goodies when they hopefully hit it rich. T.S. Marriage by the time you're 25 then your life is over. And you're doomed to be alone forever LNFA or every time read a post like that I think poor kid doesn't know anything about how life works. Anyone who tells you there is one right way to live your life or manage your finances. Find what works for you. Because that's all that matters. Also, anything that makes you feel inferior or superior. The reality is you are likely normal in every meaningful way. Almost nothing is black or white. Rather, most issues are dome shade of grey. This statement applies especially to political issues. Honestly, if issues like immigration, abortion, or the Israeli-Arab conflicts were simple, then they would be solved already. That you can get rich quick. You'll have to work at least 20 years to build some substantial equity. So don't try to live like a millionaire but become one frugal lifestyle in early career and investing a lot will pay off big. But it will take some time. One that love is always fun, exciting, romantic sex, etc. And if it's not, then something is wrong. No way media simply hasn't done love justice. Sometimes love is hard. Sometimes love is simple. Sometimes love is an action rather than a feeling.